June is National Cancer Survivors Month, and Dr. Ravi Patel with CBCC is joining us this morning to talk about the progress that's been made fighting cancer over the last few decades to prolong survival. Dr. Patel, thanks for yeah, coming in. We appreciate morning, you, as always. Yes. Thank you. So this is a, a great time to look at just like overall the progress that we've made in fighting cancer. It's, yes. it's been immense. Yes, a tremendous amount. You know, we always hear about the negative things about cancer, right. people dying, a variety of things. But it's, remember, uh, it's important to remember there are more people alive today who have survived cancer mm -hmm. than have died. And then newer treatments, very intelligent treatments are making the quality of life of cancer patients a lot better. Mm -hmm. Less toxicity from chemotherapy, much more intelligent drugs, de ways of detecting the cancer earlier, and uh, very innovative surgical techniques, robotic uh, surgeries. They, all of them, a combination of all of this is helping cancer patients in an immense way. I think we have to be look at, uh, looking at the positive side yeah, for I mean, survival. It's incredible what treatment can do now and how yes. targeted it can, it can be. Um, one area where it can be really targeted, um, right, is triple negative breast cancer. Yeah. What's the latest there? Yeah, you know, triple negative breast cancer is such an aggressive cancer mm -hmm. and wipes out the patients. Mortality rates have been high, but fortunately now, immunotherapy again is playing a role in triple negative breast cancer and so it spares the patient the devastating effects of chemotherapy but more important the immunotherapy has definitely shown that patients with triple negative breast cancer can live longer can tolerate the treatment a lot better and uh, the survival continues to improve. So a lot of hope for triple negative breast cancer. That's fantastic news. Um, and what about new options for prostate cancer patients who have metastatic disease that has spread to the bones? Yeah, that is a very painful thing. What happens is that uh, prostate cancer patients, when they have the cancer spread to the bone, it's extremely painful and you can radiate parts of it and relieve the pain. You can use hormonal therapy, a variety of other treatments. But now we have certain targeted treatment, which is a radionucleotide which you can inject, and it goes into and hits every area which has the metastatic disease. Wow. And emits a small amount of treatment to those areas. Very promising. Really incredible. Uh, and what about targeted therapy helping patients with Hodgkin's disease? Very, very important. Uh, what has happened is that normally patients with Hodgkin's disease used to end up with chemotherapy. Mm -hmm. And chemotherapy has a lot of devastating effects. So a new drug called Brentuximab now targets uh, it just like another drug called Rituxan. Uh, directly on the Hodgkin cells and uh, helps with much less side effects and excellent cure rates. Wow, that's, it's really incredible what yeah. targeted therapies can do yes. now and just Amazing. how just intelligent <laughs> just, uh, they can be. Yeah, really and so incredible. many great minds and many of these have been developed in the United States. So, you know, we're helping the world with the kind of work we're doing here, you know. That's incredible. Yeah. All right, Dr. Patel, thank you thank for you coming so in. We appreciate it as always. Same here.